Future RNs, we're about to give you everything you need to know about norepinephrine for the NCLEX. So if you want to knock the NCLEX out of the park, just keep watching. Norepinephrine is a catecholamine hormone that is used as a drug to induce vasoconstriction, helping to treat severe hypotension. In this mnemonic video, I'll teach you an easy way to remember norepinephrine, its uses, and its side effects, as well as any important nursing considerations. Let's get started. It was a beautiful day for a hike today, but unfortunately, my friend and I got a little bit lost along the way. Good thing I brought my compass with me to help me navigate my way, since compasses always tell you which direction is north, right? Yep, straight in the direction of the North Star up ahead. By the way, North is our symbol for norepinephrine. Get it? North for norepinephrine? In the hospital, you may also hear norepinephrine called by its trade names Levofed and Leverteranol. But as for the NCLEX is concerned, you really should just focus on the generic name of norepinephrine. Next, let's talk about what norepinephrine does in the body. We've decided to take a rest stop and break out some snacks. Uh-oh, as my friend opened her can of soda, she squeezed the can a little too tight. By the way, don't you think the red can looks a bit tube-like, almost like a blood vessel? Since blood vessels are just red tube-like structures, right? The way my friend is squeezing the red soda can help you remember that norepinephrine works as a vasoconstrictor, because vasoconstrictors squeeze down on or constrict the blood vessels, just like my friend is squeezing the soda can. Norepinephrine is a hormone that works as a potent vasoconstrictor in the body. Technically, norepinephrine binds to the alpha-adrenergic receptors, which cause peripheral vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction is an important factor when it comes to raising blood pressure, so let's talk about that next. By squeezing the soda can, my friend is increasing the pressure of the liquid inside of the can, so much so that it's spraying out right into her face. That reminds me a lot of how norepinephrine works. By inducing vasoconstriction, it causes an increase in blood pressure. In this way, norepinephrine is used to increase blood pressure in patients who have severely low blood pressure or hypotension, such as in patients with shock. How does it do this, you ask? By constricting or squeezing down on blood vessels, norepinephrine increases the resistance to blood flow. This increase in vascular resistance then increases blood pressure. To use an analogy, think about how squeezing down on a garden hose increases the resistance to flow which causes the water, or blood, inside to spurt out with more force or pressure. All in all, just know that norepinephrine is used to increase blood pressure. It's also worth noting that if a patient is hypovolemic, like they've lost a lot of blood or are super dehydrated, you'll want to administer fluids or blood products before you give the norepinephrine. While my friend cracks open a soda, my snack of choice is an apple, because everybody knows that apples make great snacks on the go. Except this apple doesn't look very appetizing with that wormhole and bruising. This rotten spot on the apple's skin reminds me of tissue or skin necrosis, one of the major side effects of norepinephrine. You see, norepinephrine can cause tissue death around the IV site where it is administered, kind of like how this apple has dead parts around this wormhole. Why does this happen? Well, we just talked about how norepinephrine causes vasoconstriction, right? If the drug leaks out of the vein to reach the tissue around the IV site, formerly called extravasation, the vasoconstriction will cause blood vessels to clamp down, reducing blood supply to the surrounding tissue. That can lead to ischemia and skin death surrounding the IV site, so it's super important as the nurse to keep a close eye on that IV to make sure it's not leaking. If possible, norepinephrine should be given through a central line instead of a peripheral IV to avoid this risk. Ah! Is that a worm in the apple? Oh, wait, it's just a phantom worm. I must have eaten the worm when I bit into the apple, and now just the ghost remains. This phantom is our symbol for the drug phentolamine. Because phantom sounds like phentolamine, right? Also notice that the phantom is coming out of this rotten part of the apple, which, if you remember, is our symbol for tissue necrosis. That's important because the drug phentolamine can be used to reverse or treat tissue damage if drug leakage occurs. Phentolamine is basically a vasodilating drug that is administered locally around the IV site to reverse norepinephrine's vasoconstricting effects. Makes sense, right? Before we summarize what we've learned, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more great content, and leave us a comment about what other topics you'd like to see us cover, and visit us at PixRise.com. And that's everything you need to know about norepinephrine for the NCLEX. Let's do a quick summary of what we've learned. 
Norepinephrine, also known by its trade name Levofed, is a vasoconstricting drug that raises blood pressure to treat severe hypotension, especially in cases of shock. A major side effect of norepinephrine occurs when it leaks around the IV site to cause tissue necrosis, so it's important to monitor the IV site closely. If leakage or extravasation does occur, this tissue damage can be reversed by another drug, fentolamine. All right, we're done here. It's time for us to continue our journey north, onwards and upwards. <laughs>